hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome and i hope you are doing well so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to achieve this beautiful soft bouncing coils using a flat iron all right with that said let's jump right into the video so i'm going to be coiling this crochet wig right here and also i have a separate video showing you guys how to make this beautiful crochet wig from scratch so the link is in the description box down below okay so since this hair is synthetic you're gonna need a temperature control flat iron so you need to set your flat iron into um to a low heat and before you go straight in into the wig you need to make sure to test it out on a separate hair just to make sure that the temperature is right for your wig so once that is done you need to go straight in into the um, working on your wig again you need to make sure that the temperature that you set your flat iron is right for your wig so right here i'm going ahead to do a quick pass on the hair you don't want to leave the the flat iron on one spot for too long because it's synthetic hair so you need to move quick so right here i'm going ahead to coil it by rotating the flat iron as you can see in this video just like that and look at that beauty look at that So now right here, I'm going ahead to roll up the hair and once I'm done rolling it up, I'm going to take a bobby pin and I'm going to pin it in place. So this will help to keep the coils in place while it's cooling down. So I'm just going to pin it in place just like that and work on the next session. So you're going to go ahead and work on your wig, do, making sure you're doing it session by session. And also you're going to be needing a lot, a lot and lots of bobby pins if you're using if you're going to be using bobby pins and if you're going to be using hair clips you're going to need a lot of it okay lots of it so right here i'm going ahead to uh, repeat the same thing i started by passing the flat iron through the hair one time and right here i'm going ahead to coil the hair using the flat iron so i'm going to be doing the same thing once i'm done coiling the hair i'm going to be rolling it up again one minute just like that look at that so right here i'm gonna roll the hair up to help keep the coil in place as you can see while doing this you want to make sure not to cause unnecessary freeze okay so just roll it up and pin the coil in place If you don't want to use a bobby pin or hair clips, you can still achieve the same um, uh, coils, but although it will be a bit loose than the one you will get when you pin it up. So for that, you need you still need to hold it in place. Once you coil the hair, right, you still need to hold it in place and wait for the hair to cool down completely before you let go. Because if you don't let it cool before you let go, the coils won't last long so that's why you need to wait for it to cool down and then you can just let go or you can also pin it in place and let it cool down while you work on the next session so right here i'm going ahead with a hair clip and i'm pinning it in place so i use a combination of hair clips and bobby pins because <laughs> i ran out of bobby pins and the hair clips weren't even enough <laughs> so yeah, you're going to need lots of bobby pins if you're going to be using bobby pins. And you, if you're going to be using hair clips, you would need lots of it. As you can see, I had to run around my house and look for more uh, hair clips. <laughs> so I went ahead and did the rest of camera. So right here, once you're, done once you're done coiling the hair, then you need to let the hair cool down completely, okay? You need to let it cool down completely. I did it. I did the coils at night, so I decided to just... I let it be overnight and this is the next day right here i'm going to be taking down the the uh, hair clips and the bobby pin i'm going to be releasing the coils so look at that right there soft and bouncy look at that and with this technique you can brush the hair and the coils will still be intact look at that right there beautiful 
again like i said earlier this is a diy crochet wig i made myself and i have a separate video showing you guys how you can make your own so how you can make this crochet wig you can use any color you want but if you want to learn how to make the crochet wig how to ventilate the hair on the lace part of the wig be sure to click on the link in the description box down below and also i have uh, other videos like a more close-up video uh, videos showing you how to properly use the ventilating needle and also how to properly use the tiny crochet hook so be sure to check out the description box for those videos and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up all right as you watch give it a big thumbs up and subscribe So if you want you can also separate each coils depending on how you want your 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 wig to look if you want more volume definitely you can go in and separate each coil as you take them down look at that look at that that's just beautiful i'm going to go ahead and do the rest of camera so Right here, I'm going to be working on the last one. And again, I'm going in with my small uh, comb and I'm brushing the hair flat at the root. I didn't want it, uh, that part of the wig to be puffy. Look at those cores. <laughs> So this is the final result right here soft and bouncy coils <laughs> all right so we've come to the end of today's video as always if you find this video helpful please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up okay and if you're new to my channel please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that way whenever i post a new video you will get notified thank you all so much for watching thank you all so much for subscribing and uh, i'll see you all in my next one